We got paid over 12 bucks today just to take the items from the store. Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. We're at CVS today, getting ready to go in here and do our CVS haul for the week, and today is going to be a little bit of a special video because we are using a brand new CVS account and I'm gonna show you guys how to start couponing at CVS with a brand new account. I'm excited. As you guys know, I've been complaining about it for a few weeks now. My original CVS account has not been getting CRTs. This is my first time that it's happened to me where your account just kind of goes dead um, and you stop receiving CRTs for a while. I'm hoping eventually they come back, but in the meantime, I did make a new account under my husband's name so that I can start getting some CRTs again to work with. And I figured we would make the best of it and I could make a video showing you guys how to use a new account. So today is going to be super newbie friendly. I'm going to show you guys some all digital deals that you can do. So before we head in, if you are brand new to CVS, what do you need to do first? Well, you're gonna need a CVS account. This is totally free to sign up for. You just have to be a member of CVS to get access to their sale prices, their extra buck rewards, all of that. So make a free account if you have not yet. That way you can get an extra care card. It will attach to your phone number so that any digital coupons that you clip in the app will come off at checkout. Another thing that I highly suggest doing is signing up for CVS Care Pass. This is an extra thing that CVS offers. It is not required, but it is a paid subscription that I myself pay for because it is worth it, trust me. I will put the link below in the description box if you wanna sign up. This is essentially like an extra savings membership where you pay $5 a month, but they give you a $10 extra buck every single month. So it's like a small money maker every month and I highly recommend doing this when you're starting out because your first month is free. Your first month is free. You don't have to pay anything for that first month, but you're still going to get back that $10 reward. That way you can start doing deals, use that $10 care pass to pay for your items and start earning extra bucks. That is the important thing with drugstore couponing is you have to start earning rewards so that you can pay for your items and earn rewards back. And once you start earning those rewards, you just keep rolling them. Also, if you're brand new to CVS couponing, you might also be new to this channel. So welcome if you are new here. Be sure to say hi in the comments below and subscribe to the channel to follow along. I post CVS deals every single week. All of that talking aside, let's get in here to CVS and get some deals. Okay, so the first deal we're going to start off with is the Cover Girl. They are buy two, get back a six dollar extra buck this week we're actually going to do this all digital so the first thing we're going to grab of course as always is the covergirl brow pencils they are 6.29 this is the cheapest covergirl product so we're going to pick this up then we're actually going to grab a face product which i don't normally do because they're a little more expensive but we're going to go ahead and pick up this concealer for 7.79. So both of these products total us 14.08. In the CVS app, everybody should have this $4 off CoverGirl Cosmetics instant coupon that I have sent to my card, so we're gonna use that. I also have a $3 off six Any Cosmetic CRT. That's gonna stack with the $4 instant coupon. And then for manufacturer digitals, I have a $3 CoverGirl Eye product digital. That's for the brow pencil. And then for the concealer, we have a $4 off any CoverGirl face product. So all of those coupons is gonna leave us to pay eight cents plus tax for both of these products, but we're earning back a $6 extra buck, making this a $5.92 moneymaker. Also, I'd just like to point out, when you are starting with a new CVS account, you can sign up for the Care Pass to help get you started with um, having those rewards to roll in. But other than that, deals like this are really the best way to build up your extra bucks because we're only paying eight cents out of pocket, but we're going to get that six dollar extra buck back. So besides signing up for the Care Pass, just look for any moneymaker deals like this that you can put together to build up your extra bucks. Another moneymaker deal that we can do is on the Colgate toothpaste. They have these on sale for $3.99, but when you buy two, you're going to get back a five dollar extra buck. So if we grab two of these, that's going to be $7.98. 
in the CVS app. Everybody should have this $2 off digital coupon off of one of them, so go ahead and clip that. And check your account and see if you have any CRTs that you can work with. Now, CRTs are going to vary by account and they are purchase-based. The items that you buy regularly, you're going to get more CRTs for that type of product. Now, when you have a new account like this one is, I have not done a single transaction on this account yet. They will give you some CRTs like this to start off with, but if you want to keep building them up, you need to do a variety of deals. So we're going to go ahead and use this one. After these digital coupons, we're going to pay $3.98 for the both of these, but earn back this $5 extra buck, making this a $1.02 money maker. I also want to point out that we do have a $2 cashback offer on the coupons.com app. We have a $2 cashback offer for this that you can submit for, for the other one, because we're only using one manufacturer coupon for one of these, but we're not using a coupon on the other one. So for that one, you can submit for $2 cash back. If you haven't submitted yet, I did this at Walgreens. So we're just going to go ahead and grab these for a $1 moneymaker. I'm going to go ahead and pick up some cotton rounds because I use these to take my makeup off with my micellar water. And I think I only have one of these left in the stockpile, so I'm going to pick one up. It is the Beauty 360 brand. They are $4.19. So we're going to grab this. Now, when you make your account, you want to make sure you're signed up to receive offers via email or text or whatever because they will email you coupons that you can send to your card. Within like, I think a few days of making this account, I got an email for a free CVS brand item up to $4. So they will give you a link to click on, you click it, and it will automatically send it to your card. So we're going to get $4 off of this. It does qualify for this item because Beauty360 is a CVS brand. So that's going to make it just 19 cents. Also, if you're wondering how to see in the app what digital coupons are attaching to the items, do you see this little barcode in the top search bar? If you tap on that, see if I can get it with one hand here. It's going to pull up a screen where you can scan a barcode and it already did it. Um, but you just want to scan the barcode on the product and it's going to pull up whatever digitals are attaching to that product. So you can see here it says, woohoo, you've got deals for that product and it shows two different coupons that I can use. And then down here it's going to be like grab a deal on something similar. So these are coupons that are for other items, but the ones up here at the top will attach to the product that you scan. Okay, so next up we're going to grab some hair care. You have a couple different options here. We have the Garnier Fructis. They're on sale two for seven, as well as the Garnier Whole Blends. They're also two for seven. Now we do have an offer going on this week. Everybody should have an instant coupon where when you spend 60 on hair care, select hair care, you're going to get $15 off at the register. Now personally, I'm going to skip on this because with the coupons that I have, I just don't think it's a deal worth doing. But we are going to go ahead and pick up some hair care. We're just not going to spend $60 worth. So for either one of these shampoos, we have a $3 off of two digital manufacturer coupon in the CVS app. We have one for the whole blends and a separate one for the fruit tea. So that's going to bring it down to two for four. However, if you have a $2 off hair care CRT, that's going to take an additional $2 off, making it $2 for two bottles or just $1 each. So we're going to go ahead and pick one of these or two of these up, I mean, because that's going to be a hair care deal that we're doing on this account. So hopefully next week we will get another hair care CRT. I am probably going to be skipping on the household promotion this week for the laundry detergent and select products because this week they have them on promotion for spend 40 earn a $10 extra buck. Now usually it's spend 30 earn a $10 extra buck, which is usually a pretty good deal when they have that promotion going on. But with it being spend 40, if you don't have any CRTs to work with, I personally would wait until it's been 30, unless you desperately need laundry detergent. We do have some digital coupons in the CVS app for like the Tide products and the Gain, um, which are both included in the promotion, but I'm personally gonna skip on it. I know several couponers have like those eight off 40 purchase CRTs that they get emailed to them, um, which if I had one of those, I would totally do this deal. But I just haven't had that luck. With my original account that I've been using, um, it's the only account I ever had, I stopped getting those email CRTs like a long time ago. So hopefully with this new account, I will start getting some, but I don't have any right now, so I'm going to skip on this deal. Okay, so for today's transaction, we are going to be using our $10 care pass. I signed up 
for it on this account right before I came to CVS. Didn't have to pay anything because your first month is free, but within just a few minutes, my $10 care pass is already on my account and I have it clipped and ready to go. So we are gonna be using this for this transaction, but one thing you have to remember with CVS is when you're using a reward, you have to use the whole reward in one transaction because if your total is only $5, this reward is gonna be lowered to $5 and you're gonna lose the rest of that. So we have to make sure our total is at least $10. But our out of pocket for this stuff so far, this is not including the rewards we're getting back, this is just what we're gonna have to pay after the coupons, is only $6.25. So we're gonna add something else to this. One deal you can do this week if you have CRTs, I would suggest only doing it if you have CRTs, but they have the Irish Spring Body Wash as well as the Soft Soap. They're on sale for $4.99, and then when you buy two, you're gonna get back a $4 extra buck. It does have a limit of three, so you can buy up to six bottles and get back a, what would that be, a $12 extra buck for buying six. So just looking at if you buy two, that's gonna be $9.98. We do have a couple digital coupons as well as paper coupons if you have those, I think from the 424 Smart Source. But if you're just working with digitals, we do have a dollar off for the Irish Spring and a dollar off for the Soft Soap. So you can pick up one of each, use both of these digital coupons. You'll pay $7.98, earn back a $4 extra buck, making it $3.98 for both or $1.99 each. It's a little bit better of a deal over at Walgreens, but if you have CRTs, this could be a really good deal. I personally would not pay $2 for this body wash, but if you're in desperate need, it's always better than paying full price. I do have a couple other deals planned out that I want to do, but for the sake of keeping this transaction as newbie friendly as possible, being that we're using a new account, we're gonna go ahead and add one of these disposable razors to our transaction. This is not a deal that I would normally do because we can normally get these for like pennies or free, but this is a pretty good newbie friendly deal. So we're gonna grab these Schick Disposable, they're $5.99, and we have a $4 off digital coupon in the CVS app. now. I'll go ahead and show you since I haven't done it yet. To clip a digital in the CVS app, you wanna hit this plus sign. Once you do that, it will clip it and send it to your card. That way, when you tell the cashier your phone number at checkout or they scan your extra care card, this is going to automatically come off as long as you purchase the qualifying product. So that's gonna make this $1.99 and it's gonna get our total up close enough to $10 so that we can use our $10 care pass. So this, is going to be our transaction on our brand new account. Okay, so we took that up to checkout. I was wrong about the care pass covering tax, duh Alicia. I had Walgreens on my mind because with Walgreens, your Walgreens cash can pay for your tax, but with CVS, rewards do not pay for your tax. Don't listen to me, <laughs> but it's fine. It's totally fine, it still worked out great. So for this, we did everything in one transaction, only using digital coupons, so totally newbie friendly, of course, except for the CRTs, those will vary, but I've only had this account for like two weeks, and this is my very first transaction on the account, so totally doable, just adjust according to your CRTs that you have. So for this one, all of our coupons came off. We have the $4 CoverGirl for the face product, $4 for the Schick razor, $3 CoverGirl eye product, $3 off two Garnier Whole Blends, the $2 Colgate toothpaste. And then down here, so the ones up here are the manufacturer coupons, right? Then down here we have our CRTs. So we have the free CVS brand item for $4, the $4 CoverGirl instant coupon, the three off six cosmetic CRT, two off hair care, and the two off five oral care. Then underneath all of that it will list any extra bucks that you used so the top section is manufacturer then it will list your crts and then at the bottom it will show the rewards so we used the care pass and it only took off 824 so we did lose a dollar and change of the ten dollar care pass but it's fine that was my mistake i could have added another like dollar and change to this transaction but it's fine so our subtotal was zero. We just paid tax, which we did not even pay out of pocket because I used the Flues app to pay for that tax. So with this app, I will have a link in the description box. I definitely recommend signing up, especially when you're first starting out because you're gonna have a little bit of a higher out of pocket um, 
well, technically today we didn't because we used our care pass, but in general, I recommend using this to pay for your tax because you're gonna get cash back. So with this, when you sign up, you get three vouchers and you can use these vouchers to earn up to 35% cash back on different stores, including CVS. So if you purchase a $10 gift card, you're gonna earn 35% cash back on that if you use a voucher. So I got back $3.95 just for purchasing that gift card, and then I can take that gift card and use it to pay for my tax at CVS. So I definitely recommend doing that instead of just swiping your debit card so you can earn some cash back because any savings we can get is a win. So we paid that $1.40 on our Flues gift card, but we got back $6 for purchasing the CoverGirl, $5 for purchasing the Colgate, and two dollars for the, I don't remember. Actually, I have no idea what the two dollar extra buck is for. The only thing we were supposed to earn back was 11, these two right here, but this, I don't know, it's just a random extra buck. Okay, so I am gonna do a couple more deals, but they're a little more advanced and they involve expired coupons, so I'm saving it to the end of the video. And I'm gonna use this on my other account because I still have extra bucks that I need to burn up. So we're gonna grab the Revlon cosmetics if that will focus there spend 12 get back a four dollar extra buck i have a four dollar off revlon instant coupon from last week that my new account does not have because you don't start getting the instant coupons until i think like a week or two from starting the account so i'm going to use the four dollar instant coupon from last week on my old account to grab the um, revlon lip crown they're 11.79 I'm going to use this $2 off paper coupon that is expired. This came in the Smart Source insert a few weeks back. I don't remember which one, but it did expire on the 16th. Now, with CVS, a lot of stores do accept expired manufacturer coupons. My store accepts them up to 16 days past expiration. This is a prompt that pops up even on their register, so I'm totally okay with using this because they will accept it. So we're gonna use this for $2 off. Then we're also gonna use that $4 off instant coupon from last week that I have clipped. That's gonna leave us to pay $5.79 for this. But then we're gonna pop over to Ibotta and we have a $5 cashback offer for this. It says Walmart right here, but if you scroll down, it will show the other stores that it's valid at. So we're gonna pay $5.79. I'm gonna pick a fun color here. So we're gonna pay $5.79 for this after coupons. We're gonna earn back that $4 extra buck. Then we're gonna submit to Ibotta for $5 back, and that is going to make this a $3.21 money maker. All right, next up, we are gonna grab the Axe body sprays. They are not on any kind of promotion. They're not even on sale. They're just priced at $6.49 regular price, but we do have this coupon. It is expired. Um, I don't remember what insert it came in, but it came in the save insert a few weeks back. Now it expired on the 23rd, so we're definitely still gonna be able to use this at my store. And it is for buy any product to get a body spray for free up to $6.75 so we're gonna pick up two body sprays this coupon is gonna take off $6.49 so that's gonna bring it down to $6.49 we're gonna go ahead and pay that but then we are gonna submit over to Ibotta and we're gonna get a dollar back for each one of these so two dollars back here and then we also have an offer that's expiring on the 27th for the Axe body sprays for $1.50 back on each one. So let's pull up the calculator here. We're gonna pay $6.49 for both of these after the coupon. We're gonna get back $2 on Ibotta and $3 on Fetch. Makes it $1.49 for both or 74 cents each, which is a good deal for this brand. Okay, here's the receipt for that last transaction that I did on my other account to use up some extra bucks, which I ended up earning a little bit back, but <laughs> I'm still planning on keeping this account because I have hopes that the CRTs will come back eventually. But for this one, we did the Revlon and the Axe. All the coupons came off just fine, and I rolled a $10 extra buck. So we paid $2.27 plus tax on a Flues gift card, and we earned back the $4 for the Revlon, and then we're also submitting to Ibotta for $5 back on the Revlon, $2 back on the Axe, and a fetch for $3 back on the Axe. So how I figure out the total is I take the rewards that I used, which was a $10 extra buck, and I add it to the subtotal that we paid. So $12.27 total, that's just the subtotal that it was after coupons, but before the rewards that I use because I'm counting my rewards as money earned when I earn them back. 
So I have to also count them as money spent when I use them, if that makes sense. So our subtotal that we're going off of is $12.27. We earned back the $4 for the Revlon, seven for Ibotta, and three from Fetch. So that makes this transaction totally free and a $1.73 moneymaker. Now this transaction, if I was counting it like a regular old transaction when I paid with extra bucks, I would just factor in the 824 that I used in rewards and then we had a zero dollar subtotal. Then I would calculate, you know, whatever rebates we got back and extra bucks. However, for this transaction, we used a reward that we didn't pay anything for. All I did was went to the CVS website, signed up. It is a subscription that you do have to sign up for, but for this first month, you don't have to pay anything until, you know, it's time for your next renewal, but you still get that $10 reward on your account as soon as you sign up. So this is essentially a free $10 to use. Therefore, I'm counting it like free money. We paid nothing for this transaction, except for tax, of course, but I don't factor that into my totals because it's different for everybody. So the $11 in extra bucks that we earned back makes this an $11 moneymaker. Okay, we're out of CVS now. I kind of ran out of time and I had to get this little one from school. You want to say hi? Hi. <laughs> She wanted to do the ending with me. So everything went really good at CVS. As you saw, all my digital coupons came off. Everything worked perfectly. And I think between both transactions, with that first one being like an $11 moneymaker, since we had that free money to use, and the second one we made like a dollar something. So we got paid over 12 bucks today just to take the items from the store. And more importantly, I have now $11 in extra bucks on my new account that I can use to roll into next week's deals. So hopefully next week we can find even more money makers to continue building up our extra bucks on that account. Um, but yeah, I think this went pretty good pretty dang good for a brand new account. Hopefully this was helpful to you guys. Um, of course, if you have any questions, leave them down in the comments below. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed the video and subscribe down below if you're new here. I'd love to have you. What else is there to talk about? Huh? Oh, you want to tell them your name? Uh-huh. My name is Elena. <laughs> Did you have a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah. No. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next one. Bye! Say bye. bye. Are you going to do the heart? <laughs> Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out. I'm done living life with the lights out. Down.